Tap on your active brush to find the selection tool under tools in the brush menu. Selection has two modes, the lasso and the item picker. This video will focus on the item picker, which allows you to pinpoint a specific stroke or item and add it to or remove it from your selection. To access the item picker, tap on the first toggle on the left of the menu at the bottom of the screen until it says item picker. Then put your finger or stylus on the screen and you'll see a crosshair. When you move the crosshair over an item on the canvas, a circle will appear. This means the item is ready to be selected, which will happen automatically when you lift up your stylus or finger. After that, the selection is ready to be modified. When you're done, a single tap on the canvas deselects the item. If you want to reselect right away, just hit undo and your item will be selected again. No matter which brush or tool you have active, the fastest way to access selection tools is with a tap and hold gesture. By default, this will activate the last tool toggled down here, in this case, the item picker. You can customize this gesture's behavior in your interaction settings. When you want to select several items at once, you can add to a selection by hovering over items and either tapping the screen with a second finger or holding the shift key down on a keyboard and clicking. To remove an item, just hover over it again and tap to deselect. You'll see the cursor change to a minus symbol instead of a plus when the option's available. Another touch-based shortcut is to tap and hold with a second finger, which will toggle between the item picker and lasso modes. You can use that method to quickly add and remove from your selection, or be more precise. Selections may automatically filter some items out. Locked items are filtered out by default, and items on different layers may be as well. You can toggle those filters in the bottom menu while the selection tool is active. Lastly, strokes drawn with a masking tool will turn the screen pink to highlight the position of the stroke. See our tutorials on masking and the slice tool to learn more about erasing.